I've got two clubs that so many people want to see tested side by side, and that's what we're doing here today. In this corner, we've got the Kirkland Signature new iron that they just released about a week ago on the Costco.com website. And here we've got the venerable P790. Now this is the 2023 updated version. So it's the best P790 that TaylorMade has ever made versus this $499 club from Kirkland Signature that looks a heck of a lot like it. This set of irons, by the way, $1399 at retail, $499 here for the Kirkland Signature. So it's going to be quite the test. And I want to give a big shout out to Thomas Cofield, a longtime viewer here in the Let's Play Through community that let me borrow these P790s. This is going to be fun. Now looking at these two clubs, they are so similar. Down at the sole, first of all, I've got to say maybe slightly wider there for the P790 than for the Kirkland Signature. And you've got that little power slot down there cut into the P790, which is missing here in the Kirkland Signature, which is fully polished. Now towards the toe, the P790 might just be slightly wider at the toe, but gosh, I'd have to get the calipers out. It could only be a millimeter or so difference. It's really close. Both of them have progressive tungsten weighting. Each weight is slightly different and tuned differently depending on if you're hitting a four iron or a pitching wedge. Looking at the back of these things, if you were to cover the logo, you would not be able to tell the difference apart from the Kirkland signature is mostly polished with a little bit of brushed finish in the middle. And that's the opposite of this Taylor made, which is mostly brushed with a little bit of polish there in the middle. So pretty much the same. Looking at the face of these clubs, the shape is so very similar. I would say maybe the sole is just a little bit more rounded shape than on the P790, but really, really close. Again, if you were just to look at the face of these clubs and not knowing which was which, it would be really tough to distinguish the difference. Looking down at a dress, there's a little bit of a difference. I would say the P790 is just a little slightly thinner on top overall. And maybe some better beveling there on the top line, but it does appear just slightly thinner than the Kirkland Signature, but pretty close. In terms of offset, I would say the Kirkland Signature actually has less offset than the P790, just again by a touch. So those differences are really surprising to see. The slightly more narrow sole, slightly less offset because I thought Costco being a big box store would create a club that was more towards your average everyday golfer. And what they've seemed to do from what I can see is really make a club that is more geared to lower handicaps. The P790s have been a super popular club in the mid handicap category. So can this Kirkland signature hang with it? That's what we're going to find out. Now, one other difference about these two clubs is the shaft. The shaft options with the Kirkland signature clubs are extremely limited. You've got two flexes, regular or stiff, and it only comes in one shaft option, which is a true temper elevate 115 gram shaft. Now, I think that's a pretty heavy shaft, honestly, for most average golfers. And it's not a shaft that I could source. I looked over the internet, tried to find one of these shafts to buy and then put onto a P790. I couldn't find one for sale. So the P790 is going to have a different shaft on it just slightly. It's got a true temper dynamic gold, 105 gram stiff shaft. So both stiff shafts, but one's an elevate, one's a dynamic gold. We'll see how that changes. That's going to be interesting as well, but you're stuck with what Kirkland Signature gives you unless you reshaft these clubs yourself out of the box, you've got the one option. So we'll discuss that as we progress here throughout the video. We're gonna test three clubs here today because I wanna get a good range of this bag. So we're gonna go pitching wedge, seven iron and four iron. I'm gonna to try to get five good shots with each of these things so we can go apples to apples. If we have to throw on a shot or two, so be it. But I'm gonna to try to do my best to take very consistent swings with each of these clubs because just like you, I am super curious to know if a $499 club can hang with a $1,400 club. Now, before I start taking some shots though, I'm gonna ask you, please do hit the subscribe button. It benefits me, but it also benefits you because we've got giveaways around these clubs. I just gave away a Kirkland Signature driver on the last video, and I've got one more to give away, the one I actually used in the testing that I'm gonna give away to one of you. So that's coming up in a future video. And we've got so much content, not only on the Kirkland Signatures, which there will be a lot, but on some really great clubs that are launching in 2024. So it's gonna be fun. You're gonna to wanna to be subscribed. All right, let's get to work. All right, first up is the pitching wedge. We're gonna go Kirkland Signature first. I'd say I hit that one just slightly low on the face, maybe that second, third groove. Decent strike though, it rolled down to 128. My club speed there, 78, ball speed 94, backspin 76, 24. 
it carried 121. Shot two. Really nice, pleasant thud out of these clubs. That one was a little better strike. I'd say that was pretty well in the middle of the club face. Club speed was up there, 79. Ball speed, 96. Backspin, 67, 72. Maybe on the lower side, I'd say. Carried 126, total 133. We're on a range where rollout's not gonna make a huge difference, so I'm most concerned about carry here, of course. But a really pleasant feeling. I'd say they feel super similar to the P790s, which is crazy to say. And they look so close, too. It's interesting. All right, shot three here, pitching wedge. Another really good strike, just a slight baby draw there. A little left of target. Good result would be left side of the green. Club speed 79, ball speed 97. Backspin's a little better there, 69.85. Carried 127, total distance 134. Just want to get a couple more good swings with this thing, and then we're going to switch over to the P790 pitching wedge. That's another good swing. Very similar result to the last one. The club speed, our best yet, 80. Ball speed, 98. Backspin keeps getting better, 70, 80 RPM. Carried 128, rolled out to 135. One more. Just slightly off the toe there. Ended left of target. The club speed, 79. Ball speed, 95. The backspin was low again there, 61, 81. Again, more towards the toe of that club. It carried 125. It rolled out to 133, but again, we don't care too much about that. I'm switching now to the P790 pitching wedge. We're gonna do the same thing, hit five shots, and then we're gonna compare these clubs. Now you'll see these shot traces are gonna be in blue. Just such a nice feeling off these clubs. It's Really close though to the Kirkland. If you blindfolded me, honestly, I don't know if I'd be able to tell the difference. I do think, and maybe it's psychosomatic, that the P7A is just slightly better, but it's really, really close. I just adjusted that ball a little bit and the GC Quad is so delicate that it picked that up. <laughs> Amazing device here, by the way, on loan from playbetter.com where I get all my golf technology. We're gonna go ahead and delete that shot out. Sorry about that. So it's gonna say shot eight up there, but it's really our seventh shot. And here we go. Now that one was just like the fifth shot where it was just a little off the toe. You can see I lost a little bit of distance there, but I don't mind that for this video because I want as much of an apples to apples as I can possibly get. Club head speed was 78, ball speed was 93. The backspin 72.19. It carried 119, the total was 127. Shot three. And that one was very much like my first shot with the Kirkland signature. Just slightly like second groove maybe, second, third groove, just slightly thin. Club head speed 79, which was the same as that shot too, by the way. Ball speed 95, backspin higher though. Look at that, 77, 67. Carried 123. So more spin, but I don't think it carried as much, did it? So we need two real good ones here with the P790. And there's one. Again, you can see how consistent my swing is. It's starting a little left of target, ending a little left of target for everything. Club head speed 79, ball speed 96. Backspin 76, 91. So we're seeing a trend here, a little more spin with the P790s. Carried 124. Total was 130 in case you're wondering, but Again, we don't really care much about that. I need one more good swing out of this. Which I think I did. And we're gonna compare these numbers. Club speed was 80, ball speed was 93. Backspin real high, 82 49, carried 119, total 125. As you can see, five swings with each. Club head speed 78.9 with the Kirkland signature to 79.1, so we're within 0.2 miles an hour. I have a pretty consistent swing, which makes this a lot easier to compare apples to apples. Ball speed 96 with the Kirkland signature and 94.5 with the P790. So that 0.2 mile per hour 
translated into 1.5 mile per hour difference. If we look at the launch angle, the Kirkland signature seemed to launch a little higher, 25.3 degrees to 24.4. The spin considerably higher here though, with the P790 at 7630 versus 6960 with the Kirkland Signature. We'll continue to see throughout the bag if that's a trend. I saw with the driver that their driver was a little low spinning. Some of this could be chalked up to the shaft as well, so we can't rule that out either. The descent angle, 48.8 degrees with the Kirkland Signature, so a little steeper than the 47.9 with the P790. So it goes up a little higher, comes down a little steeper. I think that may be able to make up for the lack of spin possibly. If any club fitters are watching this, you'll be able to tell me in the comments down below. If we look at peak height here, again, that Kirkland signature higher, 29 yards. It's getting up a little higher in the air. The P790, 27. The carry was further too, 125 to 122. So even though I had a little more swing speed, 0.2 miles per hour, we actually got three more yards with the Kirkland Signature. And like I said, I'm not gonna worry too much about the total yards, but in case you're wondering, it was a four yard difference there with the Kirkland Signature just edging out the P790. So how about that? We actually got better stats there with the Kirkland Signature clubs. Pretty amazing. So I'm gonna delete the stats out here and we're gonna now take the seven irons. I'm gonna start this time with the P790. slightly on the thin side, as I like to do on those first shots. It's not a bad shot, as you can see the result there, but it was just slightly thin. I want you to know where I'm hitting it on the club face. The club speed there, 81, ball speed 110, backspin 45.55, carried 158, total 171. Shot two, oh, much better strike there. That was dead middle of the club face. Oh yeah, wow. Club head speed was 82, ball speed 115, Backspin 4081. My normal seven iron, just so you know, is about 5,000 RPM. Carried 171, total 185. Felt really good, gotta say. Shot three. Oh, another good one. Probably is the launch monitor set up here, but everything's starting just a little left of target. And with that little baby draw, it's ending further left than I'd like to see. But that was really well struck. Club head speed, 83. Ball speed, 116. The backspin, 43.22. Carried, 170. Total, 184. I really like the feel and the sound of these clubs at impact. It is premium. Next shot. Made a little bit of an adjustment there with my swing, as you saw that ended a little right of target. Club head speed, 80. Ball speed, 114. The backspin, 4307. So that's about where it seems to want to live, down there in the low 4000s. Carried 166, total 179. One last shot here, and then we're gonna switch to the Kirkland signature. <laughs> Thank you, Siri. Good to know. <laughs> Anything can happen when I'm recording these videos. Good shot there. That was a good way to end it. Club head speed was 82, ball speed 115. My backspin was the best there, 45.33. It carried 167, the total was 179. So I'd say four out of five of those were really good strikes. That first one was just slightly thin, but all in all, pretty good showing there from the P790, as you would expect. Let's move to the Kirkland Signature and see how it compares. By the way, there's our dispersion. Fairly tight with that one that I pulled just a little further left. But uh, other than that, really nice. All right, Kirkland Signature 7 iron up to bat. Here we go. Just a little right of target, but pretty nice swing there. Club head speed was 82, ball speed was 111, backspin 4364, so pretty similar there to the P790. Oh, I did it again. I moved the ball just a tad. That's twice that happened. It's early morning here, guys. It's 5 a.m. and we're having all kinds of interesting things happen with Siri and with <laughs> me uh, touching the ball, but you get what you get. It's some comic relief, I guess, for this video. Club head speed was 82, ball speed was 111. The backspin 4364, very similar to the P790 there. Carried 161, total 174. I can't remember exactly the carries, but it seemed like it carried just a little less. But uh, first swing, let's go for the second one here. Caught that dead in the center, though it's fading on me a little bit. That could be shaft, potentially. Club head speed was 83, ball speed was 114. The backspin was, that's where I'd like to be, 5168. Carried 162, total 173.
Oh yeah. That's my best one so far, at least with the Kirkland Signature. <laughs> we keep getting the same roll out there. Clubhead speed was 82, ball speed was 113. The backspin was, that's so much better than the P790 for me, for my game at least, 50, 32. Carried 162, total 173. So that's interesting. With the pitching wedge, the spin was lower, but with the seven iron, the spin is higher. Crazy stuff. All right, shot four. Oh, I hit a little behind that one. I may need to throw that one out because I was definitely behind. Clubhead speed was 81, ball speed was 104. Backspin 3,400. Yeah, I'm going to throw that shot out. So we're going to have to hit two more here because we got to get a good comparison with these clubs. Hit that one pretty well, but again, kind of fading on me. Clubhead speed 82, ball speed 109, backspin 5575. That happens when you hit more of a fade shot, you get more spin. Carried 151, total 161. Better shot there. Middle of the fairway or middle of the green, depending on what we're going for, but club head speed 82, ball speed 114, backspin 5187, carried 162, total 174. I wanna hit one more shot, cause I may take two of those shots out. Better swing there too. So yeah, we're gonna keep that one as well. I do wanna show you all the shots, but I've gotta be completely honest with you when I miss hit one. I wouldn't be able to give you or me, because I'm just as interested as you, believe me. I wouldn't be able to give as good of an apples to apples if I kept those shots in. So we got to take two of those ones out. So on this shot, club head speed 81, ball speed 112. The backspin was 47.11, carried 161, total 173. So let's take a look at the stats. So I'm going to delete these two. This is the two I kind of miss hit there in the middle. We're going to take those ones out. And we're going to have a better average for apples to apples here. If we look at the club speed real quick, 81.6 to 81.9. Again, just a little bit in the Kirkland Signature's favor there by 0.3 miles per hour. Ball speed, though, look at that, much more in the P790's favor, 114 to 112.7. Launch angle, similar, 18.2 to 18.6. But again, the Kirkland's going a little higher, quicker. Definitely more spin there now out of the Kirkland Signature, 48.96 to 43.75 there with the P790. The descent angle, again, a little bit steeper there with the Kirkland Signature, 44.8 to 43.9. You'd expect that since it's going higher quicker. Now we'll look here at the standard deviation, and with the P790, it was actually a little wider, 9 yards versus 6.2 yards there with the Kirkland Signature, so just a little bit tighter. We'll look at the dispersion here in just a second visually, but by the stats at least, it's slightly tighter there with the Kirkland Signature. The peak height is exactly the same, 29 yards to 29 yards. And because we had that higher ball speed, we had more carry there with the P790, 166 to 161. Again, in case you're wondering, it's 180 to 174 in terms of stats for the rollout. But again, I don't really look at that on simulators because every simulator is different. So I would say objectively, the results were a little better there with the P790 than the Kirkland Signature. So we've got the Pitching wedge more in the Kirkland Signature's favor, and the 7-iron now more in the P790's favor. We're going to move on to one last club here, the 4-iron, and uh, see what those do. But let's quickly take again a look at the dispersion map. There you go. Real tight there for the Kirkland Signature. So that's really nice. Even though it didn't go as far, it was tighter. It was more consistent. That's interesting too. All right, we are moving on to the 4-iron, and this time again... The Kirkland signature is going to be up. That's one. Clubhead speed was 85, ball speed 116. Backspin 2618, carried 173, and it rolled out to 194. Shot two. Pretty nice strike there as well. A little better result there in terms of distance as well, I think. Club head speed, 86. Ball speed, 120. Backspin, 25.82. It carried 182. It rolled out to 205. Now, I pushed it, but I got to say the contact was pretty good. I think we're going to see the spin up a little higher. But it was good contact. As you can see, the result, it actually traveled the furthest. Club head speed was 85. Ball speed was 123. 
It carried 187, the total was 209. Another really good swing there that's starting to leak on me. And I have noticed this with this four iron, I think it's the shaft, to be quite honest with you. These four irons tend to leak on me a little bit. Club head speed was 86, ball speed was 124. Backspin was 3150, that's better. Carried 188, total 206. One more swing here, and then we'll switch over. Yeah, everything wants to leak on me. 84 club head speed, ball speed 119, backspin 3159, carried 176, total 196. I'm not gonna be as consistent with a four iron as I am gonna be with a seven and especially with a pitching wedge. So I'll take those five shots right now. I'm gonna move on to the P790. Yanked that one a little bit. Club head speed 85, ball speed 114, the backspin was 2273, it carried only 166, the total was 190. Not my best swing, absolutely. Shot two. That's better. So we may end up throwing out that first swing, because again, I gotta have apples to apples. Still definitely not my best, but better. Club head speed 85, ball speed 114, backspin 1956, woo, carried 163, total 191. Shot three. These clubs want to definitely go left compared to the other ones that really wanted to go right. That's interesting. I think my swing's pretty consistent, so I, I'm going to chalk that up to the shaft. Club head speed 86, ball speed 119. The backspin was 2278. Carried 174, total 199. Much better swing there. Right down the middle, stripe that one. Roll down to 207, I think that's our best. Club head speed 85, ball speed 123, the backspin 3285, it carried 189, total 207. Oh, that was really good contact, but again, head and left. Just took that club a little inside. And you're gonna get a little bit more distance there with a shot that is turning over left. Club head speed 84, ball speed 124, the spin 2400, and carried 185, total 208. I'm gonna take another one here. I had a draw with all those shots, I think, compared to the other one, which was fading on everything. I think we've got enough shots here to take a look at the apples to apples. And I'm gonna remove that first P790 as well, because that was a, my worst swing. I am a mere mortal, by the way, so we do as best as we can here. All right, in terms of club head speed, it was a little higher again with the Kirkland Signature, 85.2 to 84.5 with the P790. All in all, though, pretty darn close. Let's look at the ball speed. Okay, so with, with the Kirkland Sanger, the ball speed was 120.4 with the P790 on that slightly slower swing, 119.4. I feel like that's more in line, honestly, with the club head speed differential. In terms of launch angle, really similar there, 12.1 to 12.2. Spin was higher there with the Kirkland Signature at 29.20, so that's interesting. As we worked our way through the bag, the spin got higher and higher as compared to the P790 which there was 26, 26. Now we did have that one really low one. So if we were to throw that one out, what would change? It would still be lower, 27.87 on average. All right, I'm gonna keep that shot back in there here for this analysis. So overall Kirkland Center is more spinny there for sure with the four iron. In terms of the descent angle, again, steeper descent angle, 32.3 degrees to 30.3 degrees. Peak height, was higher there with the Kirkland Signature, 19 yards. We saw that as a trend. These clubs launch higher. Maybe that elevates shaft? It's gotta be, right? Carry was in the Kirkland Signature's favor there, 181 to 178. Now again, if we throw out that one shot, which is kind of our one mm, shot, then it gets a little closer, 181 to 182. But for the purposes of this analysis, I am gonna keep that one shot in. And in terms of total rollout, 200 to 202 if you're interested in that. So if you're scoring at home, here's how I see it. I see the Kirkland Signature winning with the pitching wedge. I see it basically going in the P790's favor for the seven iron. And I see it pretty much a dead heat here with the four iron. Gotta say, I was not expecting that. If that shaft works for you, these clubs are just as good, in my opinion, as a P790 throughout the bag which is pretty crazy to say because again, the price is so low. I had a ton of fun 
hitting these irons here indoors, you're also going to see me hit them outside. I'm going to take the full Costco set out side and we're going to test the driver with the irons the wedges the putters the whole nine yards it's going to be a lot of fun stay tuned here on let's play through make sure to hit that subscribe button i'll catch you back here on another episode